scores, all the highlights, and the greatest fans. You're watching Mid Michigan's original hometown hoops on NBC 25. Welcome to the final hometown hoops of the season. The year has gone by fast, but at the end, that's when all the good stuff happens. Like tonight, the girls tipping things off at the Breslin Center, and the guys, they decide regional champions. Well, we start, as always, with our game of the week. We head out to Bucktown, where Beecher and Montrose pack the gym tonight. The winner taking home the Region 21 title and claiming a spot in the quarterfinal. Second quarter, Antonio McMillan to Malik Taylor, working the pick and roll to perfection. Rams led by nine. Taylor, though, would find himself in foul trouble later on. Final seconds of the half, the Bucks have worked themselves back into the game just before the horn sounds. Tez Ivory nailing the three ball. Montrose, though, trails 22-18. At halftime, fast forward to the third, the Rams trying to keep their distance. Jeff Long, the circus shot falls 27-25. Rams, Coach Williams trying to dial something up here. They go to Malik Ellison, the freshman, helps steer the Bucks into the quarterfinals. Bucktown wins 46-36. It's hard to beat a team three times, let alone Montrose. Montrose is an excellent team, but I'm just so happy for my kids. These kids are experiencing this for the first time. It's just a big accomplishment for us because we've been working all year, man, just for this moment, and now we just got to make it to the prison. I just been love working, like all the obstacles that we had to overcome because people thought that we was losing much. It's just hard work and effort. Beecher continues their march for a three-peat Tuesday in Owasso versus Powamo, Westphalia. Now, Carmen Ainsworth, Mount Pleasant, the Cavs fresh off a huge win against Saginaw. Justice Money Green for CA still playing very well. The steal and the dunk, you've seen it a few times here on HTH. It does it again. Then we fast forward to the third. Carmen up 44-35, two minutes left in the quarter. Nice little dribble drive there by Green. Carmen up 11. Fourth quarter, minute 40 left. Mount Pleasant cutting that lead to six. Noah Ingram, nice layup down the lane. Then. About 55 seconds left, kicking it out to Jake Mog Cotton in the corner for the three-pointer. Carmen, they trail, they're up 61-60, but the last 30 seconds of the game, Mount Pleasant made 4-4 with the free throws. They go on for the upset win, 64-61. to At the end of every game, beginning of every game, we always say family, and we truly mean that. I mean, these kids rallied behind each other, and they never gave in, and they continue to fight, and continue to fight, and... You know, we were just fortunate enough to make enough plays late down the stretch to get the win, and I just couldn't be more proud of our kids. It's a big win, big momentum booster. Hope we can get to the brass, man. It's the ultimate goal. Mount Pleasant will play the winner of Grand Blank and Howell. You'll see that shortly. Poor producing on my part not to have it the next highlight in North Branch. Millington and Goodrich battling for the Class B Region 14 title. This is the way the Martians wanted to start. A slam dunk from Jalen Fordham puts Millington on their heels. The Cardinals respond. Colin Meachin, the big man down low, cuts the lead to five, but back down floor. Travis Veenhoos here dishing in the corner, nails the three. Goodrich up six, but the Cardinals battling back with this three from Austin Levan. Goodrich eventually gets that much needed space between the two. Carlos Fordham hitting the jumper from the top of the key. Millington would make this a close game in the end, but the Martians escape and they move on 66 to 62. We had a, what looked like a pretty c commanding lead, but nothing safe for these guys. They shoot so well and they're just, they're winners as well. We just won the regional championship. Couldn't be happier in the world. And thanks to my teammates and everything that helped us out to win. When we get out on the court, we all play together and that's what gets us going is we play together. Martians just keep those winning ways going. They'll try to get it done in the quarterfinals on Tuesday. Bobcats and the Highlanders, because there can only be one second quarter. Grand Blank, they're up and some nice passing here. Nick Randall, the recipient of this great passing, he hits the three ball as the Bobcats go up four. Late second, Robin Plummer driving, gets that and one. Grand Blank up eight, third quarter. More cats here, Kevin Miller to Randall. And Randall with a nice baseline floater. Cats up 40-29, but in the fourth, Howe storms back. Tyler Johnson pulling the trigger for the inbound three. Down just one now. More Highlanders. Nice bounce pass from Johnson to John Brennan. He gets the reverse to foul. Howe up one, and they never look back. Remember, there can only be one, and it's Howe. Highlanders win 54-49.
They did a good job defensively against us. Uh, we, we tried to go with our bread and butter, getting the ball on the inside. They threw a different looks at us. Uh, we also couldn't convert uh, on the offensive end. You know, it, I just felt like there was a lid on the rim. We just couldn't put the ball in. I just feel like they maybe have, uh, wanted it a little bit more than we did tonight. Nonetheless, a great season for Grand Blank. Howe will now play Mount Pleasant in Davidson on Tuesday. In Class D, the Region 28 Championship between St. Thomas More and the host Peck. Peck comes away with a 22-point win. They'll move on to the quarterfinals with that win over Burton St. Thomas More Academy. Now, don't go anywhere. We still have plenty more on this final edition of Hometown Hoops. Make sure you come on back. The ladies are up next. Welcome back to HTH. Last season, Navelle saw their season end in heartbreak in the Class C State title game. Now, two head coaches later, they find themselves back at the Breslin Center trying to right a wrong. All they have to do is get past Goebbels, who is undefeated this season, 26-0. Navelle not phased by that statistic. They come out firing, living and dying by the three early on. It wasn't much dying. Lauren Jackman splashing down, then Alex Joint showing off the range. Finally, Nicole Buckingham tickling the twine. Navelle scored 12 of their first 13 quarter points from beyond the arc and held a 13-10 lead after one in the second. Goebbels gets back in the ball game. Allen Doyle off the window. That cuts the lead down to one. The Panthers trying to flex that muscle. Lindsey Strobel here, two of her eight points, helps Navelle move on behind 20 points from Jack from the Panthers. Win 47-35, heading to their second straight. Class C title game in Class D. Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart, a 54-42 win over Marine Sydney Cardinal Mooney. They're heading to the Class D title game on Saturday. Let's go to stop of the night for the final time this year. It comes from those boys out in Ram country. Ram tough, Malik Taylor here. Nice stuff on Bucktown and Beecher. Though Beecher would get the last laugh in this contest. Our hot shot noms the final time this season. The Martians jumping out to a big lead behind the play of Jalen Fordham here on the slam. This is how you want to start off a ball game. Goodrich rode this wave of emotion into the regional title as well. Grand Blank, great pass in here. Those behind the back Bobcats is Nick Randall. He's going to be the recipient of those. He nails the three in the process. Grand Blank, though, would have their season end in heartbreaking fashion to Howe. Amariantes Ivory. Doesn't get much better than this. First half buzzer beater. This one kind of brought Bucktown back into this contest. Beecher continues their march towards a three-peat in Class C with that title win over Montrose, 46 to 36. Remember, you can go to our website, mynbcnews.com, and vote on your favorite hotshot. We will reveal that winner on Tuesday. It's been a great season of hometown hoops. We still got a couple more games to go before we end of the year, but we end the show in style to look back at this regional championship action. See you.